Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. I'm your host, Chris, BeerGeekNation.com. Thank you for joining me once again. All right, guys, we've got another Firestone Locker Reserve Series beer here. Um, you guys have seen my 14 review from them. You've seen my Parabola review for them. Um, and if you guys have been watching, you know that they are two of my top probably five beers of all time. Um, this is the next installment in that series. This is their Abacus, which is a barley wine. Um, they call it a New World Barley Wine that is aged 14 months in 20-year-old Heaven's Hills bourbon barrels. Comes in at 13%, 42 IBUs. Um, they use a, a British ale on this, a, excuse me, British yeast strain on this one. So they're going back to the traditional kind of barley wine roots rather than, say, a West Coast, you know, Sierra Nevada Bigfoot um, kind of flavor for this one. I'm super psyched about this one. So without further ado, can it live up to Parabola and their 14th anniversary? Let's get into a glass and find out. All right, so the appearance on the Abacus, um, it's a really, really dark brown um, mahogany. You know, there's there's slight, slight hints of really dark red in there, almost like a almost like a maroon or a, almost a, a verging on purple. Believe it or not, there is some haze to it, but there is a little bit of clarity to it. Um, light shining through a little bit, nice carbonation. There was about a finger's worth of um, off white eggshell khaki colored head on there. Nice tight white bubbles. Carbonation is coming off the sides of the glass. Definitely some alcohol feed on this one. Nice lacing from the carbonation. We're all just a really, really nice looking barley wine. All right, so the aroma on the Abacus. Big vanilla, vanilla, coconut, um, leather, oak, really, really smacks you in the face in this one. Just big, big bourbon characters that can, ro it's a roasted coconut kind of flavor. Um, you're getting those oak characters in there, the bourbon characters, a nice, really, really nice kind of sweet malt coming through. Nice alcohol to it, um, just enough to kind of balance out the other elements, the vanilla, the sweetness from that. Um, but really the bourbon characters, the oak characters really, really shine through in this one, wow. All right, the taste on the Abacus from Firestone Walker. This one is just so unbelievably smooth, and that's really the first thing that came to my mind when I, you know, first just had a sip of this. Initial taste right in the beginning of the tongue is a um, kind of a, a big caramel note, toffee notes in there, slight toffee notes. Um, there's a dark chocolate quality to it. You get that bitterness from like a really, really dark chocolate right in the front of the tongue. Middle of the tongue, that vanilla is just taking over. The bourbon character touch of sweetness um, but it finishes really dry the alcohol then kind of kicks in in the back of the throat i'm getting that burn um, but it really helps to clean the palate there's not too much of an aftertaste the taste that is there is a it's a dark chocolate vanilla coconut burnt coconut kind of taste to it finishes real dry 13 percent you know it kind of tastes in the back of the throat but other than that you wouldn't know it it's extremely smooth and drinkable very has a, like a velvet feel in the mouth lots of really really nice big mouth feel right really really smooth well blended beer another home run for firestone walker wow just great stuff all right, guys, so the final verdict on the Firestone Walker Abacus coming in at 13%. Guys, I got to give this one an A+. Plus. Um, this one is up there. It definitely holds its own with 14 and Parabola and those other big kind of reserve series beers on a completely different level than those two, th two other beers, and it really stands on its own. There's a big kind of bourbon character to this one that the other ones didn't have, and it blends really nicely with the sweet malt and the barley wine. Nice dry finish. I'm getting a big oakiness in there. Big, big bourbon characters, vanilla flavors. I'm not getting any harshness from the 13%. It's easy to drink. It's not too syrupy. It's not too sweet. It's not too overpowering with hops or alcohol or anything like that. It's a perfectly balanced, well-blended beer. Um, and it really takes some craftsmanship to nail 13% barley wine aged in bourbon barrels. But they managed to do it. Another world-class beer from Firestone Walker. Definitely check it out. It's getting an A-plus for me. Remember, folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers, guys.